Let us now take the next model from this topic where we shall discuss questions based on number analogy. Now, as I mentioned earlier, number analogy has got questions all based on numbers. Here we need to look for analogy between numbers. Let's have a look at some of the examples. The first example here says 6 is to 216, then 8 is to what? So if 6 is related to 216, then in a similar way, 8 should be related to what? Now what is the relationship between 6 and 216? We know that 216 is 6 cube. So we are taking a number and then the cube of the number in the second position. So 6 is to 6 cube. Then this should be 8 is to 8 cube. Right? So here if it is x, then x cube becomes second number. So 6 is 6 cube, 8 should be 8 cube. What is 8 cube? 8 cube is 5 to 12. So the answer here has to be fourth option 5 to 12. So that's how simply understand the relationship between the numbers and find out the number in the second pair or complete the second pair accordingly. And if you look at it, here we have taken cubes as a relationship. Likewise in the exam it may be squares or any other power of the given number. It can be 6 is to 6 power 4 and so on. We just need to establish the proper relationship between the numbers of the given pair and accordingly complete the second pair. Let's look at some more examples here. The second example says 7 is to 84 then 15 is to what? Now let's look at what could be the relationship between 7 and 84. 7 will give 84 in what way? 7 into 12 is 84, yes? So if this is 7, this is 7 into 12, yes or no? 12 times. So we can say the ratio between the two numbers is 1 is to 12, right? So 7 and 7 into 12. So this is 15. So 15 and the answer here should be 15 into 12 because we are taking the 12th multiple of the given number. So 15 into 12 should be the answer. What is 15 into 12? 15 into 12 is 180. So the answer here has to be second option. So that's how simple it is. Just take the multiples accordingly. So 7 is to 84 then 15 is to 180. The third example says 6 is to 18 then 8 is to what? Now immediately when you look at the question, the very first idea that we get is 6 and 6 into 3. 6 into 3 is 18. So 8 should be 8 into 3. 8 into 3 is how much? 24. But when you look at the options, we see that there is no option which is 24. Which means there is some other logic which is working out here. And we are yet to get that logic. So we now need to work further on this question till we get the right logic. Right? The first logic that we have applied is 6 and 6 into 3. So 8 and 8 into 3. But 24 is not there in the options. So let's work on something else. Now 6 and 18. What could be the other relationship between 6 and 18? This 18 here can be taken as 6 square by 2. 18 is nothing but 36 by 2. Half of 36. And 36 is 6 squared. Right? So maybe the logic is working out that way. 6 square by 2 is 18. Now what is 8 square? 64. 64 by 2 is how much? 32. Is 32 there? Yes, 32. So we can now say that third option is the answer for this question. right? So this way, when the given logic or the logic that we get first is not working out, we just need to work for something else. So that's like trial and error. You try with some logic. If that satisfies, you get the answer. And if there is an error, you have to try with something else. So we just have to try this way till we get the right answer. But then, since we have time limitation in the exam, we just need to make sure that we don't spend too much time to get the answer for these kind of questions. Because sometimes, you may not get the answer even after spending 2, 3, 5 minutes. Right? So make sure, while solving such questions, you follow a time limitation. That is, do not spend more than 30 seconds for solving such questions. Within 30 seconds, if you are able to get the answer, well and good. Otherwise, the best way to solve such questions is leave it and move to the next one since there is no guarantee that we would get the answer for such questions in the exam. Let's now look at the last example here, example 4. 21 is to 28, then what is to 48? 21 is to 28, right? So try to establish the relationship between these two numbers. This is 7 into 3 and 7 into 4, yes or no? 7 times 3 and 7 times 4, right? Now what is this 48? 48, 48 can be taken as 12 times 4. If you observe, the first two numbers, the ratio is 3 is to 4. If you try to simplify this, the ratio becomes 3 is to 4. So if that is the logic, then here also the ratio has to be 3 is to 4. 48 is 12 into 4. So what should be this number? 12 into 3. So that the ratio becomes 3 is to 4. So here it is 3 is to 4 and here as well we get 3 is to 4. If 12 into 3, 36 is the answer. So if that is given in answer options, 
we have got the answer otherwise we may have to work for something else now 2 12 into 3 is 36 and 36 here is option 2 so we can now go for option 2 as a right answer remember friends though we have got the answers for these questions there is no technique or shortcut formula as such which may help you get the answer directly in the exam it's all about trial and error you have to try with some logic if that works out you have got the answer otherwise as i mentioned earlier don't spend too much time in these questions just leave it and move on to the next one right so try to solve as many questions as possible from these kind of models so that you get different logics in that short span of time and you are able to get the right answer quickly that's all from this topic of analogy See you in the next session. Thank you.